Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you a quick tip how you can make nice and natural textures and we're starting right now. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy it can be to do scales with this kind of foil. In order for this technique to work, you will need a lure that has pre-carved scales just like these jerk baits, swim baits and a lot of crankbaits have already, which makes it very easy. We're gonna base coat these lures first in a few different colors and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to apply this foil. Alright, and when we made sure that our paint is dry, then we can start applying the glue. Now this glue is a little thicker, so it will leave a little bit of a texture. So now I'm gonna take a big brush. This is just a big soft haired brush. And we're gonna apply our glue. Try to not apply too much in one go. and just go ahead and apply it and then we let this dry now the easy thing about this glue is you'll know when it's dry because it becomes completely transparent so as long as you see a little bit of white you know that the glue is not dried yet but from the moment that it's totally transparent then the glue has dried completely Now for the lures that have smaller scales like this one, I like to stipple it on there because this way you can put a lighter coat on there, it's gonna seep in, in between those cracks and it's gonna leave a nice texture as well. Load up my brush, not too much. The hairs on this brush are a little bit more stiff and that makes it easier to stipple. Make sure you put a real nice and light coat on there that you spread it all out because with these small scales that is very important that you put a very light coat on there or else you're gonna lose the texture of the scaling itself. Alright and when you do not see any white glue anymore then you know your glue is totally dry. Now another good thing about this glue is that it never fully dries so you can really just take your time put the glue on there and go do something else and it will stay sticky for a very long time. Alright so I got my golden foil here and it's gonna give a really nice contrast with that black and it's very important when you want to apply this kind of foil is that you keep the shiny side up. So we take our foil I'm just gonna place it on my lure and I'm gonna gently rub with my finger I'm gonna rub the foil onto the lure now I'm not gonna use too much pressure because then I will I will push that foil in between the cracks of the scales and I want it to be on the outside of the scales so now that it's on there you just rip it off there you go, you got a nice, very shiny golden scaling effect onto that black contrast. It's very, very clean. And you can just put it on there again, rub again. And this way you're gonna fill up those spots that you missed the previous time. There you go, that is one beautiful shiny golden scaling effect with black as a contrast and it really gives a mirror like finish now for the for the smaller scale patterns i like to use a foil that's already been used because it also leaves an irregular uh, foiled surface which is really nice so same technique just put it on there Now 
not too much pressure. Another great thing you can do is create amazing contrasts like blue with orange. Because this foil has a certain opacity so it doesn't show the orange underneath and it stays very nice and clean blue as you can see here. Another great thing about this foil is that maybe it looks like you already used a lot of this foil now. The good thing is that you can, everything that's left on there, you can still use to fill up holes and gaps where there was no foil. Because the foil connects to, to each other. So that means if you miss the spot and there's still glue present there, you can just foil over it and it's going to make it complete. It doesn't, you don't see the difference between, between a foil that you, you foiled first and a, a piece of foil that you foiled second. It all connects together, which makes it, uh, you can use this entire sheet until there's no foil left and it will still look as one piece. And last but not least, you can also complement two colors with each other by using this foil. Such as using a blue base with a green foil which are two colors that complement each other pretty well. And as you can see, that green complements the blue very well. And now we got a very nice base to start painting with. Alright guys, the lures are finished and as you can see it can be very very easy to foil scales. This technique anyone can do and the results are amazing. It really reflects light very nicely. And the color combo green with blue is just awesome. It looks a little like an uh, a salt water species. Um, a little bit like, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they also have red. And I was thinking about maybe doing some red details in it, but then I thought I'm gonna ruin the scales maybe, so I just left it as it is. And yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this one, it's a really cool color. Then we have this special combo here, which is the orange with blue, and this is just screaming out attention, I would say. It's a really cool color combo and that's gonna attract fish from a very far distance in the water it's really nice and also again when it hits the light those blue scales they reflect really nicely and then we got the black gold one this one just looks like a golden mirror it is really really reflective and the scaling really looks good on this lure Every single one of them is a success. And then we got our tiny little goldfish here. I'm gonna try to show you guys. And yeah, this really, really turned out really great as well. So again, this foil is super easy to create some scaling textures and to have it really nice and reflective. And as you can see, it looks quite natural as well. So that's the best combo you can find. It's an easy foil, it looks natural. Again, it's just a super easy technique. As always guys, I will leave a link in the description below for all the products that I used. This will guide you to my web shop and if you would buy anything there, you will be supporting me and my channel. I hope you learned something, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!